Hello, Jester Good here. Today we're opening up the LEGO 2017 Advent Calendar for a city. My first city Advent Calendar in years, and this is going to be day by day, so if you don't want to spoil what's inside, you could literally watch it as the days come along in December, or if you don't really care, you could watch it all in one swoop right now. So let's open this sucker up. And once you cut that tape, you just turn it upside down, flip it open, and then we got this little nice display right here. Now, keep in mind this sucker retails for $30 and has 248 pieces. And for day one, what do we have? Let's see. It is a little train, it looks like. So here is our little choo-choo, and eh, it's an okay build, I guess. Um, you know, it's, it's miniaturized, and unfortunately it can't really roll since these are kind of stuck on those parts. So it's really just for display, and it's nothing too special. Day two. It's a kid on a little snowboard. And here's our kid on the snowboard. Um, nothing too special here either. I, I like the jacket piece, even though it's becoming more and more common. Same with the snowboard. It's always nice to get that, but it is becoming more and more common. Basic head, no back printing on the head, and he does have a little helmet. Day three. It's a little fireplace or furnace. Here's the fireplace, and very basic build, something that's appeared a lot in the Friends ones, but I'm not really familiar with City, so I don't know if this has appeared in a lot of the other advents for City. Day four. It seems to be a little seat with a lamp next to it. This is just a little seat with a lamp on the side. It actually kind of reminds me of the 2010 City House, which is one of my favorite Lego sets of all time for that little lamp on the side. Day five, it's a little, oh, that's cute. It's like the miniature, that actually looks like the gingerbread house promo. The little gingerbread house actually has this nice piece uh, for the holders in that nougat coloring. That's actually a really good color for that. I don't think it's appeared in much sets in that color, so that's nice to get. And again, it's kind of like a callback to last year or the year before is gingerbread house promo. Day six. It's, oh, it seems to be like maybe a little mini plane. This plane build is actually really nice. I like how it came out. It's actually a pretty good miniature build, and I'm not really a fan at all for miniature builds. So I appreciate this build, and you can see how it's kind of built up from the bottom. Very simple, but effective. All right, day seven. It's a little sled. Ooh, I like those little hockey sticks in brown. That's actually really neat. Well, the build for this sled is all right. The best part are these little hockey sticks in that reddish brown. What a great coloring for that. And I can't wait to see how mock builders use that piece for like plant life and trees and stuff like that in this coloring. And I think that's exclusive to this set, but I'm not entirely sure. All right, day eight. It seems to be grandma with some cookies. Here is granny, as I call her. Um, nice torso design that I think was from fun at the park. Still a nice print that hasn't been used too much. Got some cookies right there and a newer facial print as well, which is nice to get. Um, some back torso printing. No back head printing, but it's kind of covered up by her bun anyway, so that's fine. And that's it for this figure. Day nine. This seems to be maybe like a little snow plow. Here's a little snow plow machine, which was oddly enough packaged in kind of like the China made plastic brick packaging. So not really sure what that's about. Maybe it's because of the tires. And I do like how it has tires because uh, a lot of the wheels in this set don't move, but this one you can move and you can have a minifigure hold on to the little handlebar right there. And it's fun to play around with for a few seconds. Day 10. And it seems to be Maybe another, like, a jet or something? There's a little jet right here, which uh, is a nice miniature build as well. I think I like the plane a little bit better, but it's still a cool miniature build. And I wish it was just a plain yellow, but they use that uh, orangish yellow for these pieces, which you can't really see on the camera. It never really picks that up. It just kind of shows up as a plain yellow. But that's really it for this little jet. Day 11. Ah. Oh, crud. I ripped a little bit. Dang it. I don't like ripping it. But this is a little snowman. Here's a little snowman. I like that uh, scarf right there. But other than that, it's pretty standard for advent calendars of all types to have snowmen. So not really a unique build in any way. Still nice to get a plain minifigure head, though. Day 12 is 
Oh, it seems to be maybe like a little stand. So here is the little market stand. Pretty basic build. The best part is this piece in green, which is very hard to get. So I like getting that in this set. All right, so day 13, what do we got? It seems to be a Coast Guard person skiing. So here is this Coast Guard woman on these little skis, pretty standard skis. Uh, they were once cool when they first appeared in the Friends Advent Calendar a while back, but now they've re-released them in this color a ton of times. Now the Coast Guard woman, it's not really an exclusive minifigure. I wish it was something more interesting. You got that standard face. Would it be cool if they had like a face with like some snow on her face or something like that? On second thought, maybe that wouldn't really be a good idea. But uh, the torso design, again, is the same one found in most of the sets. I just wish there was something more interesting with the figures in this set, besides Santa, which we'll get to way later on. And for day 14, what do we got inside? It is what seems to be, ooh, like a mini boat or something? So here's this little fairy, it seems like, uh, with some uh, maybe presents on it. You could also use it as, I guess, an extension of like a sled or something, but... That's what it looks like to me, a fairy, and really kind of an interesting vehicle to interpret into a smaller little build, but not really that interesting of a build. Day 15, let's see what's inside. Oh gosh, that's a bad rip. No. Oh no, oh no, look at that, it's ripping the whole top part. All right, this seems to be, I'm not even sure, maybe like a little miniature fire uh, truck. So here's a miniature fire truck. You know, I mean, it's kind of expected to get a miniature fire truck at this point in these city advent calendars, just from what I've seen. But this build, I think, is a good effort to make something more unique, but it just doesn't look right. I don't know. It doesn't look like a fire truck to me. It took a little bit of time. It's like, oh, that's what it is. You could actually lower um, the ladder just like that, and it makes it look even less like a fire truck. So I don't know. I'm not a fan of this miniature build. Day 16. See, that's an easy open. What the heck is this? Maybe like a little supercar? I think at this point, like the miniature builds, they just got kind of lazy with, and I hate saying anything that a Lego designer does is lazy, but these builds are very weak. Um, you know, it started out pretty cool with those planes and stuff like that, but this little racer right here looks pretty bad. It's actually kind of terrible, and the worst part is that you can't even make it race. The way that sloped makes this uh, front wheel kind of stick up like this, and this back wheel stick down like that, so... Maybe you could push it this way, but again, the wheels don't even turn because they're fixed. So it's just kind of a waste of a build, and I really don't even like how it looks. All right, day 17. And again, another rip up there. That's not good. Rip literally. It's a little plane or a helicopter. Another miniature build. This one's definitely better than the last two, though. It's a helicopter, definitely like a creator helicopter, because I know there's been a few with this orange and white color scheme. Uh, you got the propeller up top, which doesn't look bad. But if you look at this too long, it starts to look like a clownfish, and then it kind of loses all <laughs> helicopter appearance. So I don't know. Um, not the best of the miniature builds, but not the worst, and I kind of appreciate it. And I especially like kind of how it edges out on the sides right here. Day 18. And it seems to be another Coast Guard person. And here is this other Coast Guard woman. You know, I mean, the design of this has some newer prints. So that's cool, like the face print and the torso prints newer. But again, nothing really that unique. And it appears in a lot of other sets. Um, she doesn't have any back facial printing. And that brown ponytail. We always get this ponytail in reddish brown. And it's so annoying because they've released it. So many different colors, blue, pink, black. But we always get it in reddish brown. It just becomes kind of annoying. Or dark brown sometimes. Day 19. Uh, and we got a little Christmas tree. This is a little Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Very standard build. Something expected from a lot of Lego advent calendars. So while the builds for these, I guess, started a little bit strong, um, they're getting weaker and weaker by the minute. Let's hope there's a cool surprise build or something. Day 20, which is so big, it's leaking out into day 16. And it is, it seems to be one of the Jungle Explorer people. Oh, let's pull that out. Here's the Jungle Explorer, kind of like the last Coast Guard Lady, where newer prints, slightly uncommon face print, but everything's very standard and has appeared in other sets, so nothing really too special here. 
It does come with this little razor, though. Day 21. And it is a little ice sculpture. That's actually really cool. So here is the Snow Angel. I really like this build because it just feels a little bit fresh for these advent calendars. So I open up a lot, and yeah, I haven't opened up too many city ones, so maybe this did appear in a city one before. But I've never seen a build like this that is very winter-related, but uh, kind of has this nice, unique feel to it. It doesn't feel like really redundant like a lot of the other builds in here. Plus, you get some great pieces with the translucent uh, light blue, I believe, and that head right there, and even these little wings right here, which has been used in many different ways. So I really appreciate this build. Day 22. And it is a little jungle exploring vehicle, maybe. And you have this little jungle vehicle. And when I say jungle, of course, this will be used in the snow, but it's really meant to be used with this jungle explorer because it has the nice kind of jungle explorer colors from that uh, little sub theme. Nothing really too special with this build, but I guess it fits the minifigure that was a little bit before it. Day 23. Okay, this sucker's stuck. I see the ones that are near the edge are kind of a pain in the but to open. Okay, that was not bad. And it's a sled for Santa. For this little sled, you're actually supposed to attach it to the Jungle Explorer vehicle, just like that. And you can see it makes kind of a bigger vehicle, and I guess you could plop Santa on here once you open that up. And the final day is, of course, Santa. I mean, this whole Santa thing was advertised at the front of the box, and yet another rip. Let's, uh, there you go, Santa himself. So here is Santa Claus, which I don't know why they kept this as the last day. Maybe it should have been the first because he's all over the box. But uh, the design of this is actually the reason why I got this set. I mean, not the sole reason, you know. It's like, okay, I could review it and I get this minifigure right here. You don't get it. The Series 8 Santa Claus is one of my favorite minifigures of all time. Santa's Workshop is one of my favorite sets. And this design actually used a completely new torso and face print. Take that beard off and you can see that face print, which is actually from Fun at the Beach, but I mean completely new for a Santa Claus figure. It was kind of redundant when they kept using the Series 8 sort of design for the past few advent calendars. And this torso print is fantastic. Probably the best torso print for Santa yet. I love just kind of the, the detailing on this where they even have some shadows for the fluff and a hidden candy cane on the back. That is just too adorable. So really pleased with this minifigure. Definitely the best part of this whole advent calendar. All right, one thing before we get to my whole setup, I wanted to highlight the back of the box, which I found kind of interesting, which... You can see they just kind of advertised the biggest sets of the year for City right at the back. They're like, please buy it, <laughs> which they usually do with instruction booklets. But since there's no instructions, I guess this kind of makes sense. So here's how I set up all the builds. Not really much of a special place to put the miniature builds, but I kind of spaced them all out, which ended up looking pretty nice. So overall, as my first city advent calendar in almost 10 years, my last one I did the calculations was 2008. 2008, that felt like it was just yesterday. Remember, I was living in my old, old house by then. But uh, the design of this and everything, I think, is good for the $30 price. You know, they used to sell these at 40 and even 50 sometimes. I think Star Wars was 50 and then these were 40 It didn't feel like it was worth it. Now that this is 30 yeah, you get a lot of uh, different builds. And some of them are pretty bad and some of them are pretty good. And then some are actually fantastic. I love that Snow Angel. But it's all a $30 set, so you do get a fair amount of minifigures for that price. And, of course, you get that exclusive Santa Claus. So if you're looking for an exclusive minifigure, I think this is the first exclusive minifigure to a city advent calendar. So all I considered, um, taking in the price, taking in the fun of opening up day by day, and taking in the different pieces that are exclusive or really hard to find in this set, I'd rate this set a B+. I actually really recommend it. And I think it might even be the best advent calendar of this year. But we'll have to wait and see how Friends is. But it looks like this one's probably going to be it. So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.